Let's take a problem on complex stuff. Let's say you were told that you have to prove that cosec A into cosec A minus cot A into 1 plus cos A is equal to 1. Right? Now, this seems to be a little complicated, right? But let's give it a try. So, the thing that you can do here is what is cos a k? It's basically 1 upon sin a into 1 upon sin a minus cot a is what? Cos a upon sin a into 1 plus cos a. So what you do is you try to simplify all these in the basic form of sin, cos and tan. And then see is there something which I can do about it. Now here what I can see is that I've got sin a here, sin a here. So there seems to be some movement forward. I take sin a as common so I get 1 minus cos a okay into 1 upon sin a into 1 plus cos a right this I think we can multiply simply this into this so we'll get 1 minus cos a upon sin square a sin a into sin a gives me sin square a into 1 plus cos a. Now this is something like a minus b into a plus b. If you see this and this. So you can write this as a square minus b square or this can be written as 1 square minus cos square a. Or 1 minus cos square a upon sin square a. But we know that 1 cos square a plus sin square a is equal to 1 or sin square a is equal to 1 minus cos square a. So I can replace this 1 minus cos square a by sin square a upon sin square a which is equal to the right hand side. Right? So the trick in solving this was where? The trick was whenever you get these cosec things, try to simplify it to the extent possible. Try to convert them to the extent possible into sine cos 10. Once you do this, then you have to seek out for clues. How can you simplify this? Of course. In this bracket, what we find out was that the denominator was sin a in both the cases. As I took the LCM and made this, I got this as 1 minus cos a, 1 plus cos a. Now if you remember that a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square, you will multiply these two to get 1 square minus cos square a or this, this. Now the moment you get here, you know this is the identity which we have right you plug this into here sin a into sin a is obviously very simple in both the cases you get sin square a is equal to 1 which is the right hand side right so that's how you achieve your solutions